guys, it's Laurel Ann. I've been really bad at going outside this week, even though it's been like unseasonably warm. And as you can see, it's really sunny right now, and so I thought I would go for a nice long walk and listen to an audiobook while I go and make another reading and walking vlog video. I really enjoyed making the last one that I made a few months ago now. I don't have an audiobook on the go at the moment, so I'm just gonna quickly scroll through and choose one. I haven't really been into audiobooks like the last couple of weeks. I just haven't really been listening to anything. Um, I've been more into my podcasts. Okay, so I've got it down to two choices. Um, my first choice is this one called City of Strangers by Louise Miller. I've had this like in the list of like my wish list on this app for a while. Um, I don't know anything about it. It just has Edinburgh on the cover. And you know, there's something kind of nice about reading or listening to consuming media, I guess, in the city where you are. I also think this is crime and there's something about the fall that makes me sort of want to do want to dive into like a whodunit. All I know about this is that it's about a woman who comes home one day and finds a dead guy in her flat. She doesn't know who it is, um, and I'm guessing she investigates. It sounds like it could be really fun, and again, like the Edinburgh angle appeals to me. So I think I'm going to download this one, but it could be really bad. So I think I'm going to download a backup as well. So my other choice is The Hoarder by Jess Kidd, which I know is about um, this woman who becomes a carer for an old lady, and it's supposed to be pretty spooky, which again, fall vibes. I read Things in Jars by her earlier this year and really liked it, so I'm confident that it'll be good. I trust her. I've got those two books downloaded. Uh, I'm gonna leave soon. Also bringing my physical book that I'm reading right now. I've been reading this for a while. I've been kind of dipping in and out of it while I read other things. I'll have a review in my next wrap up, so I'm not gonna say that much about it right now. Um, but yeah, so I'm bringing this in case I decide I want to stop and have a coffee or something. I have an umbrella. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this in here because you never know. And I'm also bringing a little snack because I get hungry. You didn't really need to know that, but I'm sharing it anyway. So, let's go. Vlogging is so hilarious sometimes. Like, did I actually just pretend to leave my house? Yes, I did. warm day, like warmer than many summer days here in Edinburgh. So that's really amazing and I'm obsessed and I wish it could be like this all the time. So yeah, I'm reading the book or listening to the book. You know, you know what's happening. So this woman and her husband come home from their honeymoon and find this like dead stranger in their kitchen. And um, she is a photographer, an aspiring photojournalist, so she's taken some pictures. And her husband, no, not her husband, her dad died recently, and so she's like full of grief, and that has led her to be very driven to learn the truth about this dead man in her kitchen. But what I find very strange is that, like, the police. So the police haven't found out who it is. They're like, oh, you know, we can't figure it out. And she's like, oh, this is so strange. Why can't the police figure it out? I have to, I have to figure it out. But like, I don't know. I feel like the, the, the normal reaction would just be to think like, oh, he obviously doesn't have friends and family 
like some people just don't really have connections uh, I don't know I, like I, I just don't really understand her motivations like the author is trying to tie it back to like the grief of her father's death um, I don't really see the connection that well but okay So as I said, one of the draws of this particular book was that it was set in Edinburgh, um, but I am now getting the impression that this woman neither lives nor has ever been, nor even Googled Edinburgh. Um, she mentioned the woman like walking past this monument that is actually in a different city like an hour away. So that's annoying. You know, it's that lack of attention to detail that really can can get you. So the woman who has found the body in her flat is the main plot and there's also this like lady uh, reporter who is on the case of two, um, two random bodies that have been found in the Highlands and I don't really understand. I mean obviously they're gonna end up being connected but uh, doesn't I don't really see it right now. So you know, we'll see. guy who lives in the closet of the like grocery store slash news agents below the main girl's apartment um so that's just an update i'm in a place where i'm kind of conflicted about this book because it is not good but i'm also kind of interested in the story and i'm sort of in a place where i kind of want to keep like hate listening to it like I'm not enjoying it but I'm getting enjoyment out of not liking it I'm listening to it on double speed so it won't take very long to finish it to my destination, which is this area called The Shore in the neighborhood of Leith, which was uh, an independent port town um, back in the olden days. It's a really lovely area, lots of nice um, bakeries and cafes and pubs, and really like nice and off the beaten like tourist track. So it's a really great place to come if you're ever in Edinburgh visiting. I recommend. <music> Um, I realized that I didn't really wrap up that vlog in any way, so I just wanted to come back on here at the end and tell you that this morning I finished that audiobook. Um, this is the next day. Uh, so I listened to the entire thing, and I can tell you that it was completely ridiculous. It wasn't like the worst thing in the world, far from it. Uh, it kept me entertained but um, it had no depth to it really. The characters didn't seem like much. Um, oh, I I'm re-watching Community right now and there is an episode at the beginning of season two, or season three, where they're making fun of like noir movies and there was a plot point in this book that is literally so cliche that they spoofed it in that spoof episode. So just, putting that out there. And at the end, it was very like action packed. And there were so many things that were happening that I just couldn't visualize because the writing was so um, like indistinct and uh, frankly poor. Uh, sorry, Louise. But yeah, like, I don't know. I don't hate that I read it. It was fine. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you again soon. Goodbye.